Kerry, midway through the 2013 U.S. Sport Aviation Expo in Sebring, obviously there's an awful lot of interesting things going on, but at the same time there's been some developments with some of the solid companies that have formed the backbone of what has become the light sport aircraft community. And we're pleased to say we had the chance uh, earlier on in the year to uh, announce and uh, publicize the news that Sea Ray is now an official, honest to goodness, LSA. Yes, yes, we've had the FAA come down, run us through their, you know, <laughs> audit, and we've... Uh, audit or gauntlet? Yeah, <laughs> more a gauntlet. It was quite intense. Uh, there was five FAA guys from Air 200 out of D.C., and um, yeah, it was three days with them, so it was quite intense. So tell me, what are the plans from here? Obviously, you now have the uh, capability to manufacture the airplane and sell it as a fully built aircraft within the ASTM guidelines that have defined LSA. Yes, uh, and actually we're now keeping it also where we can manufacture it still as a kit plane. We have also a quick build kit that still remains in the 51% category. We're going to do ELSA and SLSA, so it'll be up to the people's choice then. Let's start first with LSA. What's the program like? What's the plan for the coming year? Well, we're trying to get the production line in up and running now, taking a little bit of time to get that set up, but we're planning on hopefully in the next year producing approximately 20 to 25 airplanes of the SLSA. We are completing some of the additional options for the 914, the elite one. We'll also be working on completing our folding wing option, get that finalized so that that will be available then too. How are you equipping your SLSA? What options are available? And what kind of pricing can we expect? Okay, we're going to offer two models, the basic model, which will be probably used a lot in flight schools or for the lower end. It's expected to come in at about 125000 The elite one, we're going to offer, especially with a 914 turbocharged engine, it'll be all carbon hull, and it's going to come in at about 144000 And it will have full glass cockpit, more bells and whistles than the basic one. What cockpits have you selected for your airplanes? We're using the advanced flight systems as the EFIS right now, and on the Elite, it's the Garmin, the 696 GPS. We're getting some very good reports on advanced flight systems. What's been your experience? It's been very good. They're working with us. They're doing things specifically for the Sea Ray in our EFIS as to determining the gear warning system, how it's going to work, and some of the things that are peculiar to a seaplane. And so they're listening, working with us, and they have already been here with us working on it. How do you see the future of the company right now? Obviously, it's been through some amazing changes. I mean, this was a family operation for the longest period of time. You've now brought in investment capital as well as management talent. But what's your future look like? Well, it's looking good. Uh, we're still trying to keep it to where it has the appearance of like a family operation, an easygoing one, but trying to make it still, you know, one that's going to be profitable and, you know, be able to go more business-like. And so we are getting investment capital. We are proceeding ahead with whatever it takes to do it. Well, we look forward to seeing how the future makes itself known for the Sea Ray program. Obviously, we've been flying with you for many, many, many yeah. years. I've watched the airplane grow up and I've watched uh, your family grow and everything else around it. And we wish you the best of luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by... Pipistrel's innovative new Alpha Trainer has been designed from the ground up for flying school operations. Powered by a Rotax 80 horsepower engine, the Alpha burns only 2.5 U.S. gallons of fuel per hour at 100 to 108 knots, giving you the opportunity to make flight training cost-effective once again. Be sure to check out the Pipistrel Alpha when you're ready to select your next trainer. Get more info at pipistrel-usa.com. Are you ready for the next generation of light sport airplanes? Check out the all-new Bristol. Fun, fast, and easy to fly. Learn more at www.bristol.com. No other aircraft explores the limits of the light sport category more than the Carbon Cub SS. It can land and take off in patches that you thought were accessible only to helicopters and hikers, and it does so with a grace, confidence, and control that are Cub hallmarks. If you thought that light sport was just for budget-minded beginners or for veteran pilots stymied by FAA medicals, you simply must fly a Carbon Cub SS. Check us out at www.cubcrafters.com. <laughs>